What is up ladies and gentlemen, it is CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another top 3 video for ARK and today we're taking a look at top 3 easiest dinos to passive tame. So we're going to not do them in any particular order, I repeat we are not doing them in any particular order and these are just going to be the 3 dinos that are really easy to tame passively so they're going to be like, you'll see, you'll, you'll find out once we get into the video. Before we do I want to say a huge thank you to all the new subscribers that have come along all the new viewers, it means the world to me. Thanks very much, guys. Keep make, watching the videos, and I'll keep making them for you. All right, so let's get into it. Now, number one is the Listrosaurus. Now, like I said, we we're in doing it in no particular order. So this guy here is probably, I'm going to say, the easiest to tame. He's not very hostile at all. Like, you can punch him, and he doesn't even fight you. See, look, he just doesn't even care. He's just that kind of guy that doesn't even care. He's pretty much a friendly neighborhood dog. Now, this guy you can feed rare flowers. They're pretty much his kibble version. And he's got Mijo Berries as well, which you can tame. However, I wouldn't really recommend them. You can use Mijo Berries. They're, they're not the greatest, though. This guy is a very low level, so he should tame up really quickly. And you see there, he's already at 30% from one flower. Now, I'm pretty sure we don't have our multipliers turned on for anything for our single player world. And you're probably wondering where you get these rare flowers from. Well, you're looking at the source right in front of you. These plant species X seed, you can see there on the left, we've just gotten one rare flower. They also give you rare flowers. Now, we've used the three that we've got on our inventory bar is the three that we got from that. You can also find them in the swamp if you just get like your regular harvesting dinos and break the bushes, you have a chance of finding them. They're not too difficult, like even your low level trikes and stegos can easily gather them. You can easily gather them yourself with your hands like you just saw. And you know, this guy's hunger it, it de depletes pretty quickly. Like you can see that we're already feeding him. It's only been about 30 seconds or so. So this guy is easily number one on this list. Now, number two on this list is the dung beetle. He's by far the easiest, one of the easiest. I'm, I still think the uh, Listro is probably the easiest to tame since these guys live in caves. However, we do have one running outside the base for reasons unknown to us. So this guy literally eats crap. To feed him. You, you can't ask for an easier tame. You literally can go around collecting poo from either your tame dinos or from just wild dinos in general. And then you just feed them to this guy. Now if you don't have any poo available, you can also use spoiled meat, which, okay, now he's just aggroed on our gentle platelets. And yeah, okay, so we're gonna get this fixed up and we'll get back into it. So as I was saying, we you just feed this guy crap. Literally, that's all you need to feed him. Now you can see there, the large animal feces has already given him one fourth of the way at 26%. Now we're gonna poop ourselves to try and give him some more food. There it is, where's our poop, there it is. So you can feed him any kind of poo. You can feed him large, small, medium, human feces, but the large is obviously the best and will tame him up the quickest. And you know, his hunger depletes at obviously a regular rate compared to the other dinos as well. So he's definitely one of the easier dinos to passive tame. And the lucky last dino on this list is the Ichthysaurus. Once again, one of the easy tames to tame. They literally swim to you begging to be tamed. So all you need to feed them is raw meat or, you know, raw prime meat or fish meat. Now, you know, each of these work the same way. Tame them up and, you know, they swim around for a little bit. They're, they're non-hostile as well, much like the Lystrosaurus where the dung beetle we saw was a little bit hostile. And you can pretty much swim after them before their taming bar depletes. Granted, I've got the jetpack on, so I swim really fast, but you know, you can easily catch up to them and they don't swim too far away from you unless they get attacked by something, in which case they're going to swim very far away from you and their meter will reset. So you can see, yeah, I'm, I'm following this one pretty easy. So yeah, guys, that'll be it for today. That's my top three list of the easiest passive dinos to tame. Let me know what yours guys is down below, but other than that, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.